Hey everybody, welcome back to the California Delta Fishing Report. Um, it's that time where I'm putting out another report for this month. This is going to be for um, June 2020. And uh, I'm going to keep it pretty simple this month. I uh, haven't had a lot of time to... Uh, you know, make YouTube videos the way that I would like to with everything going on. Trying to take care of my kids and work a job. And, uh, you know, fishing just hasn't been uh, my priority lately. But um, with that being said, I've been getting out, you know, um, one or two days a week. Um, you know, I get off work about 5 o'clock, get home by 5.30, be in the water by 6.00. Get you know two to two and a half hours of fishing, and um, I'm finding some success in that amount of time. Um, and the fish right now are um, all over the place. They're deep. They're shallow. Um, pretty much, this is the time of year where they're um, being non-discriminant. So um, basically, what I'm doing is just you know um, grassroots flipping. Uh, you know, just pitching and, and flipping to uh, rocks and docks and ledges. Um, I've been going after docks and houseboats. Um, you know, I had a couple good days on the river this month where um, I was just flipping, um, you know, around hydro hoists and docks and underneath um, houseboats. And, uh, you know, I've been putting up some incredible numbers. Uh, you know, I could get three fatties, you know, 15 pounds in the boat and then catch a couple. And, you know, that's right around where I'm sitting right now. But uh, this is this is what I'm flipping. Um, those of you who are familiar with the channel know that um, a brush hog is a top five bait for me. And um, it's definitely a top five producer for me. Mostly because, you know, that's what I've been throwing for many, many years. Um, I started throwing brush hogs in around, you know, 2007 or 8-ish, I want to say. I was living in Discovery Bay. And, um, you know, I would just, I just throw nothing but that for, you know, um, several summers. And I've caught killer bass, so... A brush hog flipping is what I'm doing. In addition to that, um, I also have a tried and true stick bait. Uh, you know, this one here, it's just classic. Nothing special about that. Throw it in the toolies, throw it anywhere. Um, Shoot, sometimes I'll even throw it out there, put it down, pick up a second rod, cast out, you know, try to catch a fish, and if not, I'll pull the slack up on that, and sometimes I'll have a fish. So, if you ever, you guys don't know about it, I'll fish two rods at the same time. I have a two-pole license, and you don't see a lot of that in bass fishing, so, uh, you know, when you have limited time and you're trying to catch a fish... Uh, it's a possibility to do that. So, um, try throwing out a Senko into deep water. Then, you know, throwing something else in shallow water and go bounce back and forth. Also, of course, can't go summer without throwing a frog, of course. So my frog set up. White frog. Um, basically is what I've been throwing. Silver frog, white frog black frog that's basically what I throw at the very end of the night I typically don't start off with that I'll start off with flipping or throwing that Senko and then uh, maybe like the last hour of the day I throw the frog um, I, I just know from experience many many years of fishing um, that the best time to fish a frog is in low light conditions the first the first um, part of the day and the last part of the day I'm not saying you can't catch them all day long but um you know i'll go a couple hours without a bite midday you know a lot of the time and then um you know the last hour of the day boom six blow-ups just like that so 
What else I'm throwing right now is a uh, chatterbait, of course. Also throwing an underspin. Trying to make do with what I got, you guys, right now. I'm in my storage unit, so if you're wondering what the heck's going on, that's basically um, what's up. I have all my stuff in storage right now. I don't have a lot of room in the place where I'm living, so I got my stuff in storage. Um, I've also been throwing a, a Zoom Super Fluke, so... Those get it really this time of year, throwing them shallow, twitching them around, soft jerk bait, and uh, that's pretty much it, you know. Um, catching fish pretty much everywhere, like I said. So this isn't the time of year where you need a whole lot of um, guidance, you know. Uh, this is the time of year where you can just basically anything that moves is getting eaten. Um, if you're looking for a, a you know a quick easy bite, then just throw. Um, you know, a three to six inch swim bait and you'll catch fish pretty much, you know, every hour. You shouldn't go long without a fish. So it's pretty much what I'm doing, you guys. Um, sorry I haven't been able to get to you the past couple months, man. I've been just out here trying to survive, man. So things haven't been so great for me, but hopefully, um, you know, they've, they're they getting better for you guys. And, you know, for everybody who might have been affected in this the same way that I have, you know, I had a, a personal note. I had, you know, some stuff I needed to take care of that I haven't been able to take care of. Some legal stuff. So I'm kind of caught in limbo with the legal system right now because um, the courts have been closed. So, you know, i just been kind of trying to stay low, you know. Um, deactivated all my social media and haven't been posting videos. But, um, you know, I'm starting to straighten those things out. And, um, you know, just get things back together. So everybody out there also, you know, trying to uh, rebound from the damage of COVID-19. Yes, that's why I'm wearing this mask, in case you were wondering. You know, I figured since I've been wearing this mask everywhere I go, into the grocery store, and fitting to just put it in the video, you know, to um, just be a part of the times right now and look back on this video and maybe remember... This. So if you're wondering about this mask, you can get it filthyanglers.com. Um, I can't remember how much it is, but you can use my code filthynick, one word, no caps, and you could get a sweet uh, 10% off. So if you like this mask, which personally is my favorite one that I have, I have, I have a bunch of them, but this is the one that I favor. Um, so yeah, if you like that, check that out. And uh, as always, check out Bass Tycoon Tackle as well if you're in need of some good local tackle. So, yeah, brush hog. That's that's what I'm doing. Um, throwing a frog and a brush hog and a Senko. And um, also I'm throwing a, a weightless Zoom Super Fluke in Pearl. So trying to mimic little bait fish and uh, killing it. Thanks again for watching, guys, and um, I appreciate all the support. Uh, you know, even though I haven't been active, uh, you guys have been watching a lot lately and um, I've been leaving a lot of comments. So, you know, I'm here. I may not be posting all that much, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to you know, at least respond to you guys who are reaching out. So thanks again for all your support. And um, I'm looking forward to getting, you know,